Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4 is now out and what a doozy. Whole new map, new weapons, new bad guys, new environment. This is like a whole new game. Hefty price tag but it's definitely worth it. So let's say you've got the Far Harbor DLC downloaded and installed. How do you get up and running with the new content? Well that's what this video is all about. Major Slack Videos Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up Pee Wee. Okay. Okay, so you've got Far Harbor downloaded and installed. How do you start playing? Well, first of all, you have to have the main quest Getting a Clue completed in order to start the DLC. Getting a Clue is part of the main quest line and it's the one where you hook up with Nick Valentine and investigate Kellogg's house in Diamond City. Once that's done, you'll get a new special Valentine radio station available in your Pip-Boy. Tune into that to begin a new quest far from home and you'll hear Nick's secretary, Ellie, requesting help with a new case. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. Can Go to the Valentine Detective Agency in the back alley of Diamond City Market where Ellie will tell you she's got a new missing persons case involving a fisherman named Kenji Nakano residing in the far northeast corner of the Commonwealth map. Get your butt out there to talk to Mr. Nakano and oh by the way, speaking of butt, make sure you are ready to kick some because you're going to be plowing through level 40 enemy territory way out there in the northeast commonwealth boondocks. Once you discover the Nakano residence, talk to Kenji and his wife, get the lowdown on his missing daughter who has recently been spending a lot of time out in her grandfather's boathouse tinkering around with radios. Go to the boathouse and start rooting around until eventually you find a picture frame next to the busted terminal. Examine the picture frame to find the boathouse safe key hidden inside. Use it to open the boathouse safe where you'll find Kasumi's final holotape. Listen to it to discover that Kasumi has made radio contact with a mysterious group of synths to the north who have led her to believe that she herself might be a synth. To be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember and I've been having strange dreams. Return to Kenji and his wife. Tell them the news that their daughter thinks she's a synth and has taken off to a place called Far Harbor to be with her own kind. I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Unfortunately, they are horribly insulted by the very idea and try to kill you. Just kidding. No, what really happens is Kenji implores you to take his high-tech guidance system boat to Far Harbor to find Kasumi. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system. Go out to the dock, get in the boat, activate the boat controls and shazam! You are teleported out of the commonwealth and into a whole new map and boom you are now in Far Harbor. The Far From Home quest concludes and a new quest Walk in the Park begins as some Far Harbor head honchos welcome you to the island and throw a little party in honor of your arrival. Now of course the polite thing to do here is to take part in the festivities so saddle up, lock and load and party on down. Welcome to Far Harbor. Here's some quick questions and answers to help get you started. Number one, how the hell do I get in and out of this place? Well, during the aforementioned walk in the park quest, as soon as you finish defending the hull from the barrage of enemies and you've spoken to Captain Avery, a fast travel icon will appear on the map, allowing you to travel back to the Commonwealth at will. Once back in the Commonwealth, you can simply click on a new Far Harbor icon in the northeast corner of the map to return to Far Harbor. So if you need to grab some stuff back in Sanctuary to help you get set up in Far Harbor, that's no problem. Number two, do I have to keep going back to the Commonwealth to take care of business? Nope. The little fishing village of Far Harbor has all the amenities of Diamond City Market, including merchants, a power armor station, a weapons workbench, an armor workbench, a chemistry station, a cooking station, and a local bar to wet your whistle and then rent a bed to pass out for the night. Uh, pass the night. Pass the night. Number three, what kind of build should I go with for this DLC? Well, that depends on what your agenda is. If you simply want to plow through with reckless abandon, go with a power armor build which will give you lots of protection against the harsh radioactive environment and the ferocious enemy activity. Unfortunately, after 8 hours of Far Harbor gaming and having been all over the map, I haven't seen much in the way of power armor goodies. I did find a complete set of T-51 power armor, but this seems somewhat underleveled for the level 27 character I was using. So a non-power armor build might be better if you want to take full advantage of all the interesting new loot you're most likely to run into. Whatever you do though, I would strongly recommend going with a build that specializes in that. Why? Well, I'll answer that question with another question. 
What's the weather like in Far Harbor? Dark. And foggy. Oh, did I mention dark? I swear, I played Far Harbor all day long yesterday, and I saw literally one minute of sunny weather. One minute. That's no exaggeration. One freaking minute of sun. Then it went back to dark and foggy. Oh, did I mention dark? Yeah. So basically, uh, you want to use a lot of that to help you find and target enemies a lot easier. So go with a build that specializes in that. Something like a sneak build or a critical hit build would be great. And finally, can you start a settlement on the Far Harbor map? Yes, you can. And that's all coming up next video. For now, I gotta get back to it. Like I said, Far Harbor is a little pricey, but boy, do they give you a lot to chew on. And I just want to take some time from my extremely busy schedule to give you guys a little Far Harbor taste tester. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this hot off the press. That's it. See you next video.